peace love and light this message is for scorpios scorpios checking to see what's in your energy um i've been led to do a reading in regards to um what are people saying about you these days but let's see what let's see what happens <laughs> okay uh, let's see what's showing up in your energy <clears throat> saying about Scorpio these days hmm Scorpios what I'm seeing is that the first thing that people are saying is that you are a manifestation for light you are manifesting light you are a master manifester at this time um, there are people saying and seeing that you are walking into your power they're saying that you are a powerful ray of light um people are actually beginning oh look at this eight eight the magician yeah that's exactly it like people people are seeing that people are seeing your connection to the cosmos they're seeing your connection to all the planets that exists um they see this in you with this eight of pentacles they see that you are getting what you desire what you've always wanted <clears throat> there are people at this time scorpios that are actually making it their business to know your business Okay, you may not know this. You may not see this. There are people that are making it their business to know your business. These are folks that are literally searching. They're looking. They're looking for information about you. They're and they're and they're seeing exactly who you are. There are people who are. <laughs> There are people who are actually watching you. There's so much coming up with this. There are people that are watching you um, that see you as this beacon of light. They see you as this beacon of light that they've searched for, that they've wanted. And for a lot of folks that doubted you in your past, um, that underestimated you, it's like they're beginning to feel regretful they're beginning to feel a sense of remorse because um they didn't know how powerful you were at that time and right now that power that you have has become a light for them has become the light that they need um to see the world to to have hope um to manifest what they will like you become the example that many needed including those who underestimated you they didn't know that you could be the light that they want they didn't know that you were that thing that they've always wanted and needed in their life to move forward to see to see the world to see the world's power to see the power in themselves they're seeing this in you you're beginning to help them notice their connection to everything that exists around them they're beginning to see their connection to the planets they're beginning to see um who they are as a child of the cosmos this is what they're saying they're saying that they are beginning to know who they are as a result of you knowing who you are as a result of you sitting in your power like i'm also seeing that this chair represents like you sitting in the minds of many okay you sit you live in their minds and i'm hearing you 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 have pulled up your chair and you have taken a place of residence in someone's mind rent free you live there rent free they are having to think and rethink about what 
they have done how they have treated you you you've made a lot of people actually think about your financial status and your financial status is beginning to make them think about theirs there are people that actually you know they did some things to manipulate you and i'm seeing that this magician represents those who who sent you know spells who sent all types of stuff your way to hinder you spiritually see this right here this reading is is a lot about spirituality and your spiritual power and what you represent in the cosmos and what you represent to those who have tried to test you spiritually okay there are many who actually tried to send who have spent evil eye energy or way that they thought was going to influence manipulate your finances um they uh, there are those that actually tried to hinder uh your stability whatever it is that they did whether it was evil eye whether they talked about you whether it was you know they plotted and planned and schemed behind your back to influence this they've realized that nothing that they actually did uh worked nothing that they did you know nothing could really prepare them for what they are seeing as it relates to you they're seeing the full force of your spiritual power what you're capable of doing and i'm also seeing that this magician represents you because uh many have actually tried to uh you know send spells to you know do things send things your way did spell work you know they tried to curse you they cursed you you know with their mouth they did things and what they've realized is that they their magic their spells could not compare to the power of your hand and what you're capable of doing all right with your hand many of you are realizing that you are building an empire okay for many of you that have not seen this come to fruition as of yet you're going to be seeing this come to fruition that the empire that you are building that you have put the time and energy into is now becoming the thing that you have seen um the divine is letting you know that for many of you who are seeing delays in you know what you are building part of it is because they are psychic attacks being sent in the airways through communication they're messing with the planet uh, mercury many of them are actually doing um spells influencing around actually around this this uh this planet okay uh they wait for you know these uh energetic shifts for when this planet is actually in its uh in its function they use numerology to influence the energy of the day to attack all right many of you get to know that they have done this they're doing this they're sending these psychic attacks to influence uh the energy of the day and this is how a lot of times they sent these they send these spells and psychic attacks your way to delay your progress you get to know that the divine is saying delay is not denied they can try all they want uh what actually is going to happen is that everything that they've sent your way is being returned to them this spirit of heaviness that many of you have felt for quite some time i'm seeing that the divine is making their feet turn into mud they feel stuck at this time all right and that's just the law of karma they're seeing that what they have done is being returned to them because the divine is removing those enemies removing the obstacles out of your way in order for you to be able to move and accomplish your task because you have a task you have many tasks to accomplish because you are this light bearer you are a star seed you're this hierophant the high priestess that has been sent to remind the world of their spiritual power to remind the world of what they're capable of doing i'm also seeing 
that uh, many of you are beginning to heal at this time. Uh, you're healing a lot of past um, past energies that have uh, that wanted to plague you, that wanted to keep you stuck. Many of those energies that you're healing from um, have come from their their scars from from dealing with very deceitful people. Their scars from dealing with people who have. Um, who have tried to manipulate their way into your mind into you know to have you think that you're something you're not to have you think that you are less than you actually are uh you get to know that the game that a lot of these folks were playing that came into your path that knew exactly who you were they were they were playing this game of keeping you stuck in your own mind okay not only did many of them come to deceive you uh the game that they were playing was about keeping you stuck in a place where you you would not be able to move even after the fact and that is more of a psychological game and they played that game and they thought that you would remain stuck and the divine is saying that you are receiving healing energies from the universe you're receiving light energy from the universe for you to be able to move forward at this time many of you i'm seeing that um you are writing something and many of you you get to know that there's actually people who are interested in collaborating with you in writing something and in, in putting a manuscript together. Uh, there are people who see you as this magician. They see you as someone that if you have your hand into whatever they're doing, that you would be able to um, help them make progress, that you would be able to assist them in moving forward um they really see you as this light they see so much light in you like i'm seeing candles um you know a lot of them like they see you as the person that can help them um make sense of things and perhaps make sense of the words there's a lot of riches that uh, are coming your way and there are people that actually see you as someone that can help bring uh, wealth help them um, to remove themselves from generational patterns of lack they see all this in you all right the eight represents this year and you as the magician are manifesting um, everything that you've always wanted you're manifesting the financial stability that you've always wanted you're manifesting uh the look at this like the higher fit represents a spiritual your spiritual self spiritual elevation and i'm also seeing that this four of wands represents a community of family that many of you are manifested this is all manifestation energy this is what people are really seeing four of wands represents like it's like uh many may see this as manifestation energy twin flame energy like many of you have manifested and or you're manifesting um you know a community a partnership partnerships uh you know soul tribe energy like you're really manifesting it many of you have found um a spiritual tribe and you know there is a tribe that you're connected with at this time and i'm seeing this community sees you um as a spiritual light like that very thing that the universe has uh wanted for you there are many who see this in you, okay? Uh, there are many that, that are saying that you are a spirit being, a light being, a star seed that have come into the world to assist and support the world in elevating, um, in elevating spiritually. There are many that see you as someone who helps to protect uh, energy. Uh, they're saying that they see you as someone who represents light 
who represents spiritual protection, who represents resilience, um, that brings them a sort of like comfort. It almost seems like, you know, there's a sense of calm that you bring into their atmosphere, you bring into their energy um, that helps protect them from everything else that's happening in the world. So m many are saying that you represent uh, spiritual protection. You represent a force, um, a, a dynamic force that is helping them to protect their energy from everything that's happening in the world. And there are a lot of those that actually feel like they're being attacked at this time. Um, that really, I'm seeing that you represent this circle, okay? You represent this circle of protection for many of them. Um, and they see you as this. They see you as someone, and they're saying this, that you bring balance to them in a world that seems to be going through a lot of conflict, a lot of struggle. Like, you know, you're the piece that, that helps to balance uh, this energy that is... Um, that is showing up for them and the divine is um wanting to you know focus your attention back to this uh this eight of pentacles has to do with something that many of you have been working on that you've really been uh spending your time and energy like you've shown a great amount of discipline as it relates to this um this is you seeing the fruit of your labor. This is you um, beginning to see and be recognized for this work that you are doing. This work that you are doing that's represented by the Eight of Pentacles, it represents the financial uh, outcome that's coming as a result of the efforts that you've been putting in. It also represents the recognition that's going to be um seen okay as it relates to this and the divine is reminding you you manifested this and and the divine is also reminding you to continue to put in those efforts because you are rising to a position of power that you n have never seen before and you're going to be seeing a lot more come of this because a lot more beginnings are coming you are living in an energy of truth and justice the sun card representing truth 11 representing justice this is you moving into a complete energy of wish fulfillment having everything that you've wanted um this justice card i'm seeing that the divine is showing your enemies who you are by way of balance bringing everything that you've wanted everything that they've actually tried so hard to bring down everything that they've tried so hard to take from you to remove from you every time they've tried to you know cover the truth mask the truth and pretended and tried to make you think you were something other than this phenomenal dynamic power the divine is turning everything around and and really showing you justice justice is in your favor all right you having everything that you've always wanted is divine justice that's what the divine is going to be showing those enemies that have tried to plague you that have tried to make you feel less than you are regaining your power this fool card represents your power that is coming back to you that you are taking back and this power is bringing you into this energy of truth and justice. This is my Ot energy working with you. This is the Sun Ra energy working with you. The power of Ra is coming back to you, is coming towards you. This is a power that many of you may not have felt for quite some time that you're going to be seeing and feeling at this time. And this energy is really going to 9-9. Nine, nine. This energy is really going to help you come out of, um, come out, really. It, it, it's going to help uh, for you to be able to show the world what you're capable of. And many of you are actually already doing that. 
you know, as we speak, wherever you are, you're doing that. And the world is going to be seeing a lot more of that because for you, there's a lot more in store. Okay. There's a lot more in store. A lot of beginnings coming towards you that it's like I'm seeing that, you know, the financial part of the blessings that are coming towards you, that actually is just the beginning of the other things that are coming uh, for you that are working in your favor. Okay, you're going to be able to actually like look back at your past, you know, in a point where you felt like you you lacked and really kind of like laugh at that at this time okay because everything's about to shift for you in such a way where your life is going to change okay your lifestyle is going to change okay as, as it relates to your finances and that's what is showing up for you okay i'm gonna see what um is showing up in your energy show me scorpio's energy okay amaru the divine wants to remind you that you're moving into a beautiful space and place at this time where you're going to be seeing everything that you want to work in your favor. I'm seeing this uh, Leo is very significant. I'm seeing these spirit animals as being very significant as well. And the divine is also remind you, reminding you that you have the spirit of the warrior. And for many of you, when others look at you, this is what they see. This is what they... Um, this is what they're able to be in tune with for uh for for you okay not being led to re read this one um let's check to see what's showing up here alakua the divine is saying uh, do not give up. If you feel hopeless, despair, defeat, or frustration, and you wonder if it is really worth it, place your mind and your heart in your heart in awareness of what it is that is inspiring you. Do you feel alone on your quest? Look for the legions of beings in spirit, in spirit and upon the earth that fight alongside you. Fearless, ferocious with love. Be lifted by your fellow spirit warriors, beloved ones. Feel the joy of their love, unity with you. You have access to the divine power that conquers any obstacles, wins every battle, and secures every victory. And that is the word of the divine. If this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, and divine light.